The sixth graders at PS218 in the Bronx have a lot of questions about sex. And they're getting their answers from an unlikely source, teenagers. In this classroom, the grown-ups are on the sidelines. You got kicked in the testicles. Um, that um, really hurts. The group of 15 is taking part in an after-school sex ed program with WEDCO, a nonprofit organization that provides access to services to communities in the South Bronx. The peer-to-peer -peer model designed to make what would typically be an awkward conversation easygoing. When the students come in the classroom, they see uh, not just older role models, but they see people who look like them and who understand their experience. The students meet twice a week for three weeks for the two hour class that covers a variety of topics. Like what if someone asks you out on a date and you say no, but they keep flirting with you. Peer educator Melkin Acosta took the course himself when he was in middle school. Now a senior, the 17 year old is fielding questions that range from condoms to consent. They don't know that just because somebody is like saying yes, but like their body is like weird that that everything is that they're not really comfortable. The innovative approach to sex education comes at a time where teachers nationwide find themselves doing more with less. This is after the Trump administration slashed $214 million from teenage pregnancy prevention programs. The administration argues the best approach to tackle sex education is with abstinence-only programs, a method that's been long debated. We need to give young people the tools um, to actually have conversations and not just say no. In recent years, teen pregnancy rates have dropped significantly in New York City. Some attribute that to mandatory health education, which incorporates sex education for middle and high school students. For 11-year-old Kiana Pepera, the program has made a difference. You're comfortable asking the teachers different questions and they answer it without like you actually getting in trouble this time. In the Bronx, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.